Hello everyone, and welcome to Theology and Movies. This video is here to give you a brief summary on what this channel is, what to discover, and what I will be talking about. The first question I will assume you'll be asking is, what kind of theology am I going to be talking about on this channel? It will be within the realm of Christianity because that's the religion I'm associated with. Now the next thing I'm pretty sure you'll be asking is, what kind of Christian I am? Since there are different denominations, there are people who address the Bible differently than others, and some people get concerned on whether or not they're telling the truth on what the Bible says. So to give you any kind of clarity on what kind of Christian I am, I will give you this. I believe God exists. I believe in the Holy Trinity. I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and died for all of our sins. I believe heaven and hell exist. I believe Jesus was physically resurrected. And I believe that all throughout the Bible, it contains truth and is inspired by God. Hopefully, this will give you a good enough description on whether or not you can trust my videos. Next question you'll probably be asking is, what is Theology in Movies? Is it an apologetic channel defending God's existence? No. I more so recommend these more qualified apologetics to see any kind of good arguments for God existing. Is it discussing the history of the Bible and how theology works? Not really. You're going to need to do some studying of the Bible and read some high qualified professional books on Bible history and natural theology if you want anything like that. Is it giving you a deductive analysis about God, Jesus, and the Christian Bible? Well, you're getting closer. But honestly, the answer is still no, because what I talk about on this channel are inductive. I recommend you to not rely on these videos as you're reading of what the Bible is and who God and Christ are. For the sole reason because even though the videos I create will be about movies through the lens of scripture, it's still the way that I perceived it. And there is a chance that I could be wrong with what I'm saying. These videos that I create will never replace the Bible. Scripture stays the same, and Theology and Movies is a YouTube channel dedicated to analyzing film or television shows through a Christian perspective. I do the best that I can to speak the truth of Scripture, but it's never definitive, so please keep that in mind. And finally, the last question you would most likely ask is, what kind of movies or shows will this channel talk about? Is this channel going to talk about horror movies? It could. Is it going to feature secular movies and not just Christian content? Pretty much. Will there be any rated R movies that you'll be discussing for a theological message. Yep. In fact, I'm in the middle of uploading my first video that will be a rated R film. Some Christians would still find this to be uncomfortable because with these kinds of genres, they'll think encouraging these movies can drive Christians to be further away from God and be buried within sin. Now, I will agree that we should be cautious in what we're watching, and I will say there are specific movies that Christians should not watch, but then again, I can also say the same thing with Christian films that basically give you heretical takes on what Christianity is like. Now, with that being said, I think we as Christians need to understand what the idea of art is in the film business. The way art works is similar to taste preferences. How one person watches the movie wouldn't be the same as how another person watches that movie. Take the movie Rocky, for example. One person can watch the movie and say it's a masterpiece about how one should find inner confidence about how truly great they can be in their profession. Another person can look at it and say it's about how we shouldn't be afraid to take in risk even though it means we could still fail. And another can say it's a cheesy movie with a low budget and cliche dialogue but it's fun to watch. All three of these opinions are neither right or wrong and that's the point. Art is supposed to give you different interpretations of what several people can see. So the way one person looks at a film doesn't mean it's going to be the same to another person, regardless if it's religious or secular. Now again, if any of the movies or TV shows I present on my channel gives you the ambition to drive further away from God than it does lead you towards him, then don't watch the movies and shows I'm talking about. I don't want these films, shows, and my content to drive you away from God. However, if these effects happen to you, it doesn't mean it will happen the same way to others because that's how art works. And as Christians, I think we should come to understand this and be tolerant and respectful with it as much as we can. So there you go, guys. This is what you're going to expect from this YouTube channel. Let me know what movie you'd like for me to discuss in a Christian perspective, and be sure to subscribe to see more videos coming your way in the near future.